Peninsular bighorn sheep were listed as an endangered species in 1998. Just this segment of the population, not all desert bighorn sheep, but just the ones that live in the peninsular ranges. And we wanna monitor their recovery. If they're gonna recover, um, how they're doing, if their numbers are increasing. And the most accurate way to do that is to radio collar or tag sheep. Um, we have a scientific method that if we can mark a certain amount of animals, we can go out every other year and we fly helicopters in throughout the park and throughout their range and we count how many sheep we see. And we count how many have radio collars on and how many do not. And so it's a method called Mark Resight. So it's a formula that we come up with um, that looks at how many marked and how many are unmarked and it gives you an estimate of their population. And in order to get a good estimate, we need to have between 25 and 35 of the population that's marked. And so that's what we're doing here today is we're going out and we're flying with helicopters and we're actually capturing them with the helicopter with a net gun fired from a helicopter. We're bringing them into a base camp here and we're putting radio collars on, but we're also taking blood samples. So we're checking for disease and we take fecal pellet samples and we can look at if, how, how high a parasite load they have. So we can, we can get a lot of information um, just by collecting all types of tissue samples and blood samples and fecal samples. With DNA, we're just trying to track um, actually the progression of the sheep over time, looking at lineages and the relatedness of, of different subpopulations to each other. In 1992, the population was estimated at about 238 animals. Our latest survey effort was 2012 and we were up to about 950. And we're really interested in where are they moving? How big are, is their range? Um, throughout the peninsular ranges, especially up north around the Palm Springs area. Um, we have a lot of urban areas and they're pushing into sheep habitat, golf courses, housing developments. And we wanna be able to know where these sheep are at, if roads, housing developments will impact them. And what are the really core important areas? Use have their lambs in the same area every year and they have certain areas that the ewes will all bring their young lambs and raise them for the first three or four months. And we want to make sure that those areas are not destroyed. You know, wild areas like state parks, national parks, they're really a depository for wildlife. And as the pressures of modern society, we keep pushing animals out and out and out, it's really important that we preserve and protect these areas like Anza Borrego because it is going to be the one place that these animals are going to be able to do well.